Do you know if anyone ever got that fanny pack? Um, so right now it's uh, technically inside the scene, so we can't um, quite grab it yet. Okay, cool. But you said it's is black and gray? No, it's just the gray one. It's just gray, okay. And it was on the cart? Yeah. Yeah, so it'll be, it'll be secured and it'll be on the cart. Okay, cool. It's not part of it, we'll get it back to you as soon as we can. So like I said, this is the, the rights that I just need to go over and I'll read them to you as I do. If you understand them, you can uh, signature or check out here um, and then read the rest here and if you agree, okay? So you have the right to remain silent and you can use it maybe use against you in a court of law or other proceedings. You have the right to consult an attorney before making any statements or answering any questions. And you may have him or her present with you during questioning. You may have an attorney appointed to you to represent you if you cannot afford one, otherwise obtain, obtain one. Okay. Okay. You understand those? And if you wish to uh, I kind of with us, like you an have, attorney. You kind of like, what do you want to do? Let's, I mean, just because the situation and everything and their attorney already talked to me and I just think I should probably have an attorney represent me. Okay, before you make any statements or talk to us. Do you know what attorney she's referring to? Uh, there was an attorney that was at the ranch, but I don't know her name. Okay. Um, well, I can, I can probably answer a few questions. I mean, so at any time, so I'm gonna, again, you don't have to talk to us. And if you want to talk to your attorney, that's fine. If you want to answer some questions, um, you still have, you still could change your mind during this question, right. questioning. So it's up to you. If you want to talk to us and at some point you feel like maybe you want your attorney, you can't, but okay. you need to make the decision on what you want to do right now. If you want to talk to us. How long would it take when to get here, I guess? It's going to be you calling them and finding out. Really? Okay. Uh, I don't know, they're a fucking attorney, I don't know, it's just like such a big company, you know. Oh, are you talking about with the production company? Yeah, I don't want this, like, I don't want anything in this case to be fucked up for me as much as I possibly can. So, this is, no, you're fine, and it's, that's why we go over these. Yeah. So you know your rights. Okay. It's up to you. Um, is there an attorney I can call? It would be a public defender. They might not. Uh, they might advise another day. I, it's gonna. It could go a longer process. I don't know. All right. I can answer some basic questions. If you if you want to answer some basic questions, we could do that. And then if you at some point feel like it's right on, yeah. I'll yeah. Some basic and like questions. I said, right now we are just interviewing you because you are. You were there. There. You were there. You totally are in charge of. Yeah the armor. Okay. So you're okay with talking with us? Yeah. Okay. So, just start, we'll start off with basic questions, okay? Okay. So, you've already mentioned that you've been on set for five months now? On this particular set? No, on this particular set, I've only been there two weeks. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, do you want the date and time? Oh, yeah, please. It's going to be um, 21. 21. 21. Exactly. Four, I'm so sorry. Um, how do you spell your first name? Hannah, H A N N A H. And your last name? Um, I put check the guns and I load the guns and uh, I hand the guns off to the actor. Okay. Um, how long have you been doing this? Because you mentioned you've been on multiple sets. Um, since about March, but I've been handling guns my whole life, pretty much. So you're very familiar with guns. Mm -hmm. And this is your primary function. You go to sets. different sets and you primarily handle these guns. Yeah. Okay. So, can you tell us what happened today? When you started work, when you got there to work? Um, yeah, I uh, went to work. We got the guns out. Uh, Who's we? Me, uh, my coworker Sarah. She helped me with the guns a little bit too. Um, yeah. And uh, we got the guns out. We went to set. We had the guns on set. 
Uh, I dummied the guns up with the dummy rounds. And yeah, we were on set all day. No, nothing happened. And then we came back from lunch and uh, that happened. So you got on set with the gun, with the dummy rounds about oh, well, what time? Like 7.30 probably. Around 7.30 this morning? Yeah. I didn't dummy the gun up until about a little before lunch, like an hour before lunch. Corporal, could you understand what Ms. Gutierrez said about something about the gun? Did she say dummy the gun up? Yeah, she had um, said that she dummied the gun up right before lunch. Okay. <laughs> And we take all the guns and we lock them up for lunch. <laughs> so yeah, that's what I was going to ask you. You and Sarah, what's her last name? Do you know? Sarah's last name. Uh, I don't think she really worked with that gun that day, by the way. Um, but Sarah Zachary, Z A C H R Y. Okay. So just to be clear, did Ms. Gutierrez just tell you that Ms. Zachary didn't really work with the Baldwin gun that day? That's correct. But she was there today with you, helping you today, correct? Yeah. Okay. So you and Sarah, who has access to that? So when you got there this morning, where are the guns kept? The guns are kept on the prop truck. On the prop truck? And yeah. And the dummies and everything kept on the prop truck. Are the dummy rounds separate? contained then the gun all yeah. in the truck? Yeah. Yeah, they're in their own box and the guns are in the safe. Okay. And who has access to the safe? Sarah and I. Just the two of you? Yes. Okay. So what about the dummy rounds? Who has access to that? Well, the dummy rounds, they were on the the cart for lunch. Um yeah, the dummy rounds were on the cart for lunch. All the ammo was on the cart for lunch. Is there, if you're saying dummy rounds and ammo, are there two separate things? Um, so there's blanks, my bad, not ammo, but there's blanks, you know, uh, the blanks look different. Okay. They shoot the stuff and the dummies normally just have a little BB in them. Okay. What is the purpose for the dummy rounds? Because you were loading those up this morning. So first. the dummy rounds, they're meant to, uh, they're meant to put in like the belts of the cowboys and everything. And uh, like in the revolver, you can see the if it's empty or not. Right. So yeah, I have to dummy them up if they're gonna be like looking right at the camera. Oh, okay, so you just for show, the dummy rounds are just for show to make it's it look like it's for cool. show. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. But then the other rounds that you guys the other round, seen, yeah, the other rounds, the yeah, they don't shoot a BB. No, no. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, they just shoot like they just open up and a little black powder comes out, and that's all. It's just a little black powder, and yeah. Is there live ammo that's kept on set? No, never. Okay. okay. So I hardly even go shooting with 45 ammo at all. I normally just use 22. Okay. So. And so you, you got the guns this morning. You and Sarah are the only ones who have, is it a combination for the safe? It is, yeah. Okay, and you guys are the only ones who have that combination? Mm -hmm. Okay. But the rounds are? They're in the truck, yeah. The truck gets pretty much locked up every night. I mean, okay. not like padlocked, but just on set. Okay. Um, or do you guys have lunch? Does a lot of people just eat lunch there? Uh, we all leave and we go back to base camp. Okay. And you guys left the dummy rounds and the ammo, but it's not real ammo. My bad. Blanks. The blanks. blanks. Yeah, we'll go with blanks. I will use blanks. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, just so I also don't mix up in the confusion. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So, <clears throat> when you got the dummy rounds and the blanks this morning, what were you guys doing before lunch? Was that just we were just uh, with the dummies only, just 
Yeah, just the dummies. We were we were just about to get into the blank stuff, and you know, like part of my job is checking the barrel to make sure nothing's in it because that's how Brandon Lee died. You what? know. Yeah. Yeah. Right so now. like that's what I checked for. I definitely checked this morning, and I was planning on checking again right after lunch before we got into all the shits. And I already started checking uh, the other two guns to check in the in the thing for them, and none of them had any barrel obstructions. So, yeah. So you check the gun, but do you check the blanks and the dummies as well? I do check the dummies. I check all of them, and they all they all showed that they were not hot. I guess you could say. How how can you tell the difference on um, the ammo on the dummy rounds or the blanks? I'm sorry. That's my wrong dummy. How can you tell the difference from the blanks and live, real am ammunition? A little ring. Like there's a little ring in there. It just rings. It rattles. It's like a little rattle. When it's a blank? Yeah. And then also there's ones that I have with holes in the side to show that there's nothing in them. Okay. So what are these ones? They're the rings? Yeah. These ones were the rings. There was one, I think, with a hole. Yeah. So I want to visit with you a little bit about Ms. Gutierrez's statements up to this point. Um, initially, Ms. Gutierrez told you that she shook all the dummy rounds, is that right? Yes. And then uh, upon further questioning, did Ms. Gutierrez tell you that, uh, in fact, um, one of the rounds actually wouldn't have been a shaker, it, it had a hole in the side. Correct, which wouldn't give any sort of audible noise if she shook it. All right. Um, you put the gun before going to lunch back in the safe. Yeah. But the blanks and dummies were left on the cart. Yeah. Did you, when you got back, were they did they look moved or tampered with or touched when you got back from lunch? They did not. No, nothing Nothing seemed out of the ordinary. Okay. Was the gun still in the safe after lunch? Yeah. Who we pulled left. it out? Uh, Sarah pulled it out and she handed it to me. Okay. Yeah. Then you watched her? Yeah. Okay. My, uh, where I'm trying to get with is because they you can handle the gun, you obviously are going to be loading the gun, so that's mm -hmm. why I'm concerned about the dummy and the blank, because those were left out. And if I, mm -hmm. is there some way that somebody can alter them to make them still look like your dummy mm -hmm. room? Well, so that's the thing is that, like, bullets, like real bullets, pretty much look the same mm -hmm. as dummies. The only difference is the rattle. Um, and so, yeah. Uh, that could, that's a choice, but also, um, I don't know, I'm kind of wondering, because I heard back in the day, dummies used to have, like, a primer cap, mm -hmm. so I'm wondering if maybe it was one of those older ones, or something like that. Did you load them after lunch? They were already loaded from before lunch. Okay. And so that's the thing, is like, you know, we had that gun the whole time before that, and it was nothing happened and I wasn't in there and they weren't supposed to be even pulling the hammer back. So, okay, um, all right, let me just yeah. clarify a little bit. So prior to lunch, the guns, you had them out? Yeah. And where were they when they were out? They were inside with all the camera crew and everything. It's, you know, COVID, everything happening right now, they don't really like a lot of people in there. Okay. And so usually I'm like hardly allowed in there unless there's actual firing happening. Okay. Yeah. Did, were you inside this morning? Uh, I walked in there and I handed the gun to Alex a couple of times and Alex took it and everyone was there with him. Alec? Alec. Okay. Baldwin, yeah. Baldwin? Okay, so you handed him the gun this morning. Yeah. Um, does he pass it off to anybody? He, Are we able to see that? At one point Dave had it. Uh, the assistant director, but he was just sitting in with it, and then I saw him, and I was like, okay, this is fine, he's just sitting in, and then I walked out, and yeah. And how do you know that Dave had it? 
I handed it off to Dave while he was sitting in for the shot. Okay. Um, all right, so you guys were the only three handlers prior to lunch? Alec, uh, Dave, me. Dave was after lunch. Okay. Dave was after lunch. Um, yeah, that should have been the only ones. Um, maybe Sarah, possibly, but yeah. Um, Cause that's the thing that just, they chill on our little table, and we're pretty much there all the time. Okay. And then, so prior to lunch, should they do any um, scenes or anything of the sort where they were firing the weapon? No. Okay. Not just before handling. Lunch. Yeah, we were just supposed to get into it right after that. Like literally, that was the last shot before we actually got into blank. Okay. And those blanks were already loaded in before lunch. No, the no, blanks okay. are different than dummies. Yeah. So that's, yeah. yeah, blanks totally different. They actually have like ignition and powder and everything. Dummies, no powder. Just for looks. Just for looks, right. Yeah. So, that, yeah, so I think everything was after lunch then. So mm -hmm. after lunch, you get back, and that's when you loaded a dummy round. I mean, the blanks. No, 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 no. No, no blanks were loaded. No, like, oh, no, 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 today. Yeah, no, okay. no blanks were loaded today. I was, like, getting ready for it. I had my fanny packs, like, full of, like, blanks and everything, but. Okay. So when was the last time you loaded it? I loaded it with the, with the, so I loaded it with five of the dummy rounds before lunch, and there was one that wouldn't go in. And so when we got back from lunch, I took the, like, little cleaner guy, I cleaned it out really quick, and I put another dummy in there. Okay. So there are five total in the gun. Yeah. Can you um, About describe? Six. There was six. Total. Six, five, yeah. Okay. When the incident occurred, yeah, there was six. Okay. Can you describe the gun? Uh, it's a Colt. It's a long barrel Colt. It's a long barrel? Mm-hmm. And six rounds fit in it? Yeah. What color? A brown. So it's bronze? Yeah, they're brass. Yeah, kind of bronze, brassy. What, uh, caliber? And that was the only one that was used today? No, the other two were used too. Okay. What yeah. do those look like? Uh, da, 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 da. Those are both 45. I think they're either Colts or U Birdies. Um, 45. And yeah, the two other characters have them. Okay. And they're revolver looking? Yeah, they are revolvers. But the long barrel was the one that was used during the incident, just to be clear. Yes, the long barrel one, yeah. Okay. Yeah. The other two were on the actors, and those were fine. Okay, so they're kind of like for show, pretty much, you know, our holsters? Yeah. Okay. And like, uh, you know, they took them out and they had them on camera, too, and, yeah. Okay. Um, do you know, what time did you go to lunch? about 12.30, pretty much on the dot. And then, so after that, Sarah pulled him out. Yeah. Did she, did yeah. you see her um, check them or did she just hand them to you and that's when you checked the rounds? She just handed us, we all took them, we took them in the bag to the set, so we didn't check them there. They're in little, like, socks, little socks. Okay. Yeah. What do those look like? Little socks. They look like socks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. They uh, they honestly look like socks. Yeah. Okay. And so when you checked it, it was on set or prior mm -hmm. to check. Yeah, it was on set. Um, I didn't really check it too much after lunch, you know, because because it was already locked up and everything at lunch. But yeah, I checked it and uh, put in that last round and and then. Okay. Yeah. I know that you had said something about um, keeping stuff in your fanny pack. Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit more about that? 
Yeah, it's a little fanny pack. It's super, it has a lot of pockets, so it's really cool to, like, separate, like, you know, the the dummies from the blanks. But it's mostly to separate, like, the blank sizes, because there's quarter loads, there's half loads, and then there's full loads. And I usually don't keep any full loads out there unless I need them. Um, but uh, I usually keep quarter loads and half loads right here. So if it's close up to an actor, we use a, half, a quarter load. And if it's farther away from an actor, we go ahead and we use halves. Okay. And what's the reasoning for that? Uh, just uh, the halves have more smoke and they look more real. Okay. Yeah. So pretty much for... Like if it was a bigger gun, like a rifle or something. Yeah. So you keep Or if it's outdoors, you know. But mostly it's the quarters just in case they're closer proximity to an actor, you know, or if it's inside quarters, or if it's around an animal or a child quarters. Okay. And then you had said um, that they're only supposed to pretty much expel dust or smoke, right? Yes. Okay. Um, were you inside when the incident occurred? No. I was right outside by my... Uh, uh, what do you call it? My uh, cart. Okay. How close was it? Uh, about okay. 20, yeah, 15, 15, 20 feet from being inside. Okay. What side of the building was done? Uh, so the building with the door is facing, I don't know, my north and west. So is it where the cross is? <coughs> Is that the main door? door? So um, where, where the where the door where they were like coming in and everything. That door we were like right adjacent to that to the left. Okay. Could you yeah. see inside at all? No, not really. Um, no, I couldn't see inside. What do you remember about? Basically, I just like you know we had a couple of uh, like we had a popper pop last week. You know the poppers are for special effects, like one just went off randomly last week, so I was like, oh, it must be a popper, and like, you know, I checked all of them myself, so I heard like the shot, and I was, and Sarah was like, what was that, and I was like, must have been a popper, and I like turned around, and then I heard them say medic emergency, and I was like, what the fuck, and then I like checked in, and I like looked, and I saw Alec on the ground, and I was like, oh, not Alec, uh, Joel, and I was like, what the fuck, was it the gun? And Dave was like, yeah, it was a fucking gun. And so I was like, I walked in and I like tried to see what was happening or like where the gun was, you know, to secure the weapons on the set. And I got yelled at um, and I ran out and Dave brought me the gun and I opened the gun up and one of the dummies somehow had been discharged. And can you kind of explain a little bit more what you mean by uh, that it was discharged? So when, if I had a bullet, oh, wait, I have some dummies. So, <laughs> right, check these out. Ugh, I wish it had just been one of these. Fuck. Um, but see how these have like the whole, okay. and then this one doesn't have a primer. Right. And most of them, like, they have, like, the primers, but the primers aren't, like, hot. Like, I've never had one with a hot primer before. Okay. So that seems pretty weird to me. Um, but, so, basically, this part, when a bullet shoots, the fire projects it, and this comes out, this little piece right here, this little nipple. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And so when I had checked the gun, this part, that was gone. Did you get to see the shell? I saw the shell, yeah, and it's on the, it's on the thing. Did it have one of the, did it look like this or was it different? It looked, it wasn't, it didn't have the hole, it didn't have that. So, I mean, it had that and it didn't have the hole. Um, and this was gone, so it was just the shell. So it kind of looked just the cartridge. Just the regular, like, cartridge when it went out. Yeah. So these ones are dummy c or because they have the hole. Yeah. So that one didn't have a hole. So it looked like a realistic yeah. one when you saw it. Mm -hmm. Okay. What about your? A lot of what about your blanks? What about them? Do they 
What's the difference between a blank and that? You know, I don't think I could show you, but uh, the blank is very different. Um, and you would absolutely be able to tell the difference just by looking at it. Uh, so basically, the end here where this is gone, uh, the projectile is gone in the blanks basically. This is squeezed shut. Like, you know, it's filled with like a little bit of gunpowder. Like I said, either quarter, half load, or full load. It's filled with a little bit of black powder. And it's opened by the metal part just going so it just so nothing flies out of those. Okay. So this is pretty much what looked like what was in the gun. This is 100% what was in the gun. Except without that. Okay. And with the primer, but the primer normally is on there anyways for a lot of them. Okay. Yeah. So it's not as well. Known. No, it's not. A lot of them are... A lot of them have the primer, so that way you can like see them in the belt, and they look real. Okay. But a lot of them also have the primer in a hole, and that one didn't have a hole. All right. So you had said when. Who? So how did you end up getting the gun after? Um, I went in there. They yelled at me. I ran out, and I was like, "Can I see the gun?" And they brought me the gun, and I opened it, and we checked it, and the very first one that I like, because, you know, once you shoot it, the next one in a revolver, it'll be that one, and the first one I pulled out didn't have that. Okay. Did you get to see any of the others? Uh, the others all had, yeah, I checked them all out. We were there on the cart, too. They all had rings, and they all had holes, and I don't understand. But that one did not. And Corporal, just to be clear, the live rounds that were found on set, none of them rattled, did they? No, they didn't rattle. And none of them had holes in the side, did they? No. And I'm sorry, explain again what the ring is. So, imagine if the... Oh. Oh, okay, so just the noise. noise. So that's what I'm saying. So this one is exactly what looked like was in there. Okay. And that one doesn't have any holes. So that's um, yeah. Um, honestly, and that box of dummies might have some wonky ones in it, and we got that I think a week ago. Who ordered them? Um. Well, we got them from our fr like from Seth, okay. our like supplier and everything. Okay. But Seth borrowed them from someone. I don't know who. Borrowed the runs that you have. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. And how do you know he borrowed them? I don't know. Uh, that's what Sarah said. And then as soon as Sarah called that, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, I don't know what, if she talked to him or anything about this. Okay. You mean today, if she called him today or not, or talked to him or when? I, I don't uh, Corporal, based on your investigation, well, let me back up. I, I think that we heard uh, Ms. Gutierrez um, testify that that box of dummies might have had some wonky ones in it. Is, it. is that right? Yes. And did she also testify that that box was provided about a week earlier by Mr. Kenny? Yes. And did you continue to investigate uh, the, the box and the source of that box of dummies? Yes. Based on your investigation, uh, was Ms. Gutierrez's assertion that that box came from Mr. Kenny a week earlier, did, was that assertion correct? No, it wasn't. Um, I know she called him, but I didn't get to hear the police officer told her to stop talking to me. Okay. So I don't really know what happened with that. Um, but yeah, so. Okay. Um, are you aware of a time or know if something like that can be dysfunctional or I mean you know like overall these are some weird like what we're dealing with are like you know explosives it is there's always like a chance of like you know safety to be compromised and that's the issue and that's what I'm supposed to watch out for on set and yeah 
What did Ms. Gutierrez just say? What she's supposed to watch out for on set? Uh, the ammunition, pretty much. I'm going to back it up just a few seconds. Anything about this? Okay. You mean today, if she called him today or not, or talked to him, or when? I, ha I don't. I know she called him, but I didn't get to hear the police officer told her to stop talking to me. So I don't really know what happened with that. Um, but yeah, so. Okay. Um, are you aware of a time or know if something like that can be dysfunctional or? I mean, you know, like overall, these are some weird, like what we're dealing with are like, you know, explosives. It is, there's always like a chance of like, you know, safety to be compromised and that's the issue and that's what I'm supposed to watch out for on set and yeah. Okay. But um, um, I've never really heard of, I've heard of blanks before with the primer, you know, that's the only time I've ever heard of them which is why I'm wondering if it was kind of one of the older ones because that kind of stopped after that whole Brandon Lee situation but I'm not really sure. So if Seth orders all of your rounds. Yes. And is there anybody else that's involved in that? Um, I can't really say. Okay. I just get what I get and I'm told not to visit it. Um, yeah. Do you know who the manufacturer is of this? No. Do you know what the box looks like? Yeah, there's the the boxes on the cart. Okay. It says dummy around. Okay. Yeah. Well, Corporal, did Ms. Gutierrez just tell you where you could find the box of dummy rounds that she was pulling from? Yeah, she said it was on the cart. Okay. And and is that consistent with what you saw in Mr. Benavides's video? Um. In his lapel video, she grabbed them from the cart, however, handed them directly to Lieutenant Benavides. Okay, so somewhat consistent. Yes. How do you know about that? Just that you have to them or? No, Seth is, uh, he's um, had armor on for The Walking Dead. Okay. He was on that show for 10 years. So he's also familiar about yeah. getting these. Yeah, Seth is. Like, yeah, he pretty much is teaching me everything, other than my father. <laughs> Has anyone ever allowed live ammo on set? No one. Okay. What's your guys' protocol for the ammo? Protocol. Um, like, what do you have in place? You know, are you supposed to check them every day? Um, Basically, how often? Basically, like, you know, our protocol for the ammo is, like, you know, I have to know load sizes, I have to know, like, who's in the proximity, if it's a child, if it's a horse, um, and my protocol really is a lot of checking for barrel obstructions, mostly because that's where a lot of mistakes get made, is, like, just a blank behind something, and a lot of guns get thrown into, like, dropped in rocks, you know, and rocks get into the barrel, and fly out and shit so my shit is mostly just checking the barrel and everything and then making sure the dummies are dummies yeah and i've never really had any that didn't sound like dummies okay when you lift the the gun when he dave brought it back to you after the incident did it look like it was the same gun when you handed it to dave yeah 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 mm -hmm. Yeah, I would I would be able to tell too by the circling markings on the bottom of it. Okay. Yeah. Do you remember what those markings are? Mm, they're kind of like kind of like little fingernail marks, but like a little more tender. Okay. Mm. How much time? Okay, so how many guns were pulled out after lunch? Like seven. 
Seven? Yeah. Okay. Um, because Miller has two. Ooh, maybe, okay, wait. Miller has two. Uh, the two officers have two. And then Rust has one. And then there's three long guns out. So, okay. eight. Sorry, Miller has two. The officers have two. Yeah. Who else? Uh, Rust has one. That was the one that was discharged. And, um, yeah. Uh, and then we had three long guns that were on the cart. A shotgun and a rifle. Two shotguns and a rifle. And you're in charge of watching all of these? Yeah. Two, four, four, three, eight. Okay. And you said Rust? Yes. Rust is the character from Dallas Baldwin. Okay. And you handed it directly to him? Or did you hand it to Dave? Um, I handed it to Dave after lunch. So then Dave gave it to Yeah. Do you know what was in there? Do you know who all was inside the building during the incident? Uh, some new camera people we got. Our camera crew just quit last night. Wow. Yeah, the whole fucking crew, except for like two. One dude that stayed. Um, yeah, and then the DP, the director. Do you know anybody's name? Helena is the DP. She got shot. The director is Joel. And he got shot. Okay, so D DP? Director of photography. Okay. And that was Helena? Mm -hmm. H E L E N A? Uh, I'm not really sure how to spell it. Okay. Kind of Russian. Do you know her last name? No. And you said Joel, and he's another director? Yeah, Joel. And you said that he was also shot? Yeah, which is just fucking mind boggling to me. Yeah, both of them got shot. How many. So, how many rounds are. I oh, heard one. Uh, you just heard one. I heard one. So it must have went through one and somehow hit the other. Which is fucking insane. Okay. Do you know anybody else that was inside? No, I don't. I wasn't there. Well, um, obviously, yeah, Alex, right? Yeah, Alex was inside. Fuck yeah. I'm sad. I hate myself for that. And what about Dave? Yeah, Dave was inside. Um, what's, do you know Dave's last name? Mm, on the call sheet. Corporal, did Ms. Gutierrez say that she hates herself because Alec Baldwin was in the church? Yes. <laughs> this is, like, so awful. Dave Hall's Hall? Yeah, and, yeah. um, uh, I got the Helena Hutchins. H-A-L-Y-N-A. H O. And then Hutchins. She was another person that was in there? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I have Helena, Joel. Do you know Joel's last name? Joel uh, Olds. Mm -hmm. Joel Solza. S-O-U-Z-A. Okay. Alec, Dave, anybody else inside? Um, well, her first, her study cam operator was inside. His name is Reed Russell. R E I D R U S S E L. He's a camera guy. Okay. So, oh. my God. Did they identify the people that was in there? Um, she can think of. She was. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it's nothing about this just because, it, and I don't care about north or that, but. So where we were parked here at the back of the church, that where was the front. The cars, where you were parked? Yeah, we were parked over here. So the church across the main entrance to that would have been over here. We were parked okay, over here. Okay, yeah, yeah. Where was your car? Because I don't think there was doors here or on this side of the building. So there was a door here. Okay. And my car was in approximately over here by a little black tent. Where? Or producers or fucking 
cast or anyone would chill under really. Okay, okay. and then that door's over here. So can you can can you see the front that door from where you were standing? Yeah. And you could see Dave the whole time on his way. On his way. Corporal, did Ms. Gutierrez indicate that the prop cart uh, during the incident was located over by the black tent? Yes. And was that the exact same spot where it was when Mr. Halls took Mr. Benavides over to the cart to look for the gun? Yes. Hey. Well, no, I, I went inside to hand him the gun. Oh, he, he was sitting, he was gun. standing in pretty much. Oh, okay, so you, you didn't just hand it and then he walked off. And no, yeah, he, he I handed it to Dave with the camera people there. Okay. But you were close to the door when you handed it. I was, in, I was inside for a second, okay. and then I went back out because, yeah. They tell you to get out. Yeah. Okay, pretty much. I'm just curious because of the whole transferring from the one person to another, the gun. Yeah. Um, so he, he is the one who gives it directly to Alec. Um, here's a picture, um, and I just want to see if this is something that would have come out of one of these. Totally. It wouldn't be a, li a real, real life. Let me pause there for a moment. Um, what is Detective Talamante, or now rather Corporal Talamante, uh, showing Ms. Gutierrez on her phone. So we had um, received a photo from the deputy that was at the hospital with Joel Souza. Um, he had sent us a photograph of the projectile that was removed from his shoulder um, inside a little like plastic canister essentially that the hospital staff had put it in. Um, I'm not going to put this up on the monitor because I think everybody can see it. I'm showing you what's already been entered as State's Exhibit 54. Uh, is this a photograph of what, is this what was in that photograph? Yes. Okay. Uh, just the projectile? It, yeah, inside of a little container though. Okay. And, and, and this was just a photograph that a detective at the hospital took of the projectile inside the container and texted. Uh, I don't believe it was a detective that was there. It was just a deputy that... I'm sorry. Um, yeah, that was instructed to go to the hospital with Joel Souza. All right. Gun, uh, ammo. Um, so that, that looks like a blank one, which I'm pretty sure, because normally the blank ones, like, they have kind of this little line right there. Mm -hmm. And I'm pretty sure the regular ones don't. Okay. So that... Detective, uh, are you now relatively familiar with blank rounds? Yes. Do blank rounds look at anything like that projectile? No. It looks like that would be in the blanks all the time. Okay. That was what was pulled out of the shoulder. Oh my god, poor Helena. So that's why they were thinking it could be an actual live round at this point. Really? Yeah. Does that look like it would have been a live round to you? Well, honestly, if we had my extractor, we could pull this out and check it, but um, I don't know. Actually, it's so cool Yeah, I don't know, because look at that line. That's kind of a distinct thing. That's, I think that's mostly for dummies. Just to be clear, was Ms. Gutierrez offering to use a device to disassemble a round? Yes. Did she do that? Uh, no, we couldn't. I could not find a tool at the, at the sheriff's office that we could use to do that. But did she indicate to you that she had one? Uh, yes. But just not on her? Correct. All right. Okay. Hold on. Okay. Right. And that might be... A regular live round, though. It looks pretty. That's what they were thinking. It could be a live round. Um. Holy fuck. Mm -hmm. I I just think you said, and I and I think that's why there's protocol because of Lee when all that happened on set too. Was 
there anything that stuck out of the ordinary today to you? No, I mean, just the whole camera group quit. That's all. So we were, like, super behind and everything. That's when did all. the camera group quit? Uh, yesterday. So <laughs> is there a reason? I don't know. Okay. Um, I, mean, there's, I don't think that they would be involved in that. Well, problem. yeah. Is there because maybe people were disgruntled? Oh, there was definitely some bickering, but mm -hmm. I don't. Yeah, I I highly doubt that they were able to switch any rounds, and especially getting a 45 round is like stupid hard right now. Mm -hmm. And at least, yeah. Was there any of that? towards Joel, or did anybody have any issues with uh, Joel, and what was the other one named? I don't believe anyone had issues with Joel. Okay. Um, was, uh, Helena. Helena. Yeah. I don't know. Um, I don't know too much about her. She's definitely a strong personality, that's all. Mm -hmm. But there's nobody that you could think of that might have any Can I see anger? I couldn't really say that anyone would be, like, that angry. Like, you know, we're on a film set. Everybody's always pissed off at each other a little bit. Work together for 12 hours a day, five days a week, you know? Yeah. It's hard not for, it's hard to not beef with people a little bit. Well, I mean, it's kind of interesting that the whole camera crew quit yesterday, and then that is pretty something funny. happens like this today. Would somebody want to maybe, uh... Or they could even have an issue without this. Somebody wants to disrupt the filming of this movie. Mm -hmm. Is that I don't something that you could think of? I don't know. I can't really say for sure. And I wouldn't want to think that about anybody on that set, personally. You really don't want to think that about anybody. Never. But no. unfortunately... Yeah, I can't think of, like, any one person. I couldn't really think of a situation that would require, like, you know, I don't know, almost killing somebody. Mm-hmm. Well, I mean, it happened. I mean, yeah. you keep mentioning it was what, the crow when that happened. Yeah, that was scary, so man. These things happen when these somebody. Things, I know. I can't believe I'm like the last thing like this to happen since the crow. And it's my own fucking worst Unfortunately. Well, I think right now they're good, but at the end, that's why, unfortunately, you're the, they're right away like, oh, it's the person who. Yeah. Who is in charge of all these. Totally. And that's why we wanted to talk to you was one yeah. of the main ones because, yeah, you're in charge of it, but that's that's also why would you put yourself in that predicament. Yeah. You know, so would it be possible? Yeah. I don't know. I think I think maybe there was just perhaps a bad round in that box. Okay. Well, a couple of bad rounds. Possibly. Because there wasn't one round that went off. What? There was one. Right? How did Cause the two people get shot? No, so there was only one round that went off, and oh. I must have went through Joel somehow and fucking hit Helena, and I'm, like, flabbergasted mm -hmm. by this. Um, I can't fucking imagine how that happened, but I heard one shot. Okay. Yeah, I heard one shot, and honestly, like, I opened up the gun, I checked the rest of them. Only one of these was gone, and the rest were fine. Mm-hmm. I wish we could. This one has a different top than this one. And this the one that, yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, they're all, I mean, like, you know, they all kind of vary a little bit. That's just the thing about them. They all vary a little bit. Um, yeah. Tell me about what happened yesterday. Did something happen that or did they just walked off set and said I have no idea. I think at the end of the night they all quit. Um uh the camera crew always bickered a lot to be honest. Like a lot of I don't know, just animosity I guess or them with the grits, uh everybody yeah, that whole it's almost unpleasant to be inside there just because it's so like toxic. Yeah. So, COVID, yeah, I tried to stay out, and then I was definitely on the sides watching, and they weren't supposed to be pulling the hammer back or anything. Like, it was just supposed to be in the shot, and so I don't know yeah. why it was pulled back. I don't know what, yeah. I mean, if if they wanted it pulled back, like, 
That's fine. I, I had no idea about it, you know. But, but even then, it shouldn't have gone on. Yeah, so that's either. why I was all like, I was like, okay, like, it's right there, you know. I stand right by whenever there's gunfire. I'm still there whenever the shit's there, but I'm not usually directly inside the room just because they don't find it necessary. Yeah. Well, and that's why it's like they're not supposed to pull the hammer back, but it still is a prop gun or prop. It's a real gun. It's a real, a real gun. fucking gun. But your prop. Yeah. Is set. Yeah. So. Yeah. yeah. Totally. I know. Um, I just. I don't know. I wish I would have checked it more. Is there anything that you think could have happened? I have no that idea. I kind of. I don't know. Uh, like I said, that box was shown there for lunch. Uh, I will say it is hard to get 45 ammo. You know, ammo is super expensive right now, and ever since the election, pretty much all ammo has been, like, bought up a ton. I'm sure you guys know as a police force. Yeah. So I was just thinking you had mentioned when you were loading, dumbing it up, one of the rounds, one of the six rounds didn't fit in, correct? And you had to clean it. Yeah. Did that feel, seem odd to you? Mm, you know, no, that didn't really seem that odd. That gun had been dropped a lot in the dirt previous before that. Um, yeah. So it might have just been a little gunky. And then after I cleaned it out, like, it fit right in. Okay. Yeah, but, yeah. Does that usually happen? Does that usually happen? Um, I mean, every now and then. Every now and then. Yeah. You didn't think it that it could have been the round itself that was the reason why it was initially given? You know, I don't think so because, like, these are dummies and everything, and they slide out a little easier, per se. But, um, yeah, I don't... I don't think that that would have been a thing. Sometimes they do just get stuck because, like, the guns are a little dirty. Corporal, did Ms. Gutierrez uh, just indicate that the dummies slide in and out of the cylinder a little easier than live rounds? Yes. And she also indicated that that last round uh, didn't want to go in as easily. Is that correct? Yes. That sixth round that she put in after lunch? That's correct. Other than that, everything else seemed normal with the round. Everything else seemed status quo, and I thought today was going to be another like super great day, and that we were done shooting after this, and it's going to be smooth sailing. So the picture of the round that I showed you, you think it could have been from the the dummies? Yeah. Honestly, I'm not. I can't remember. I can't remember really if I got. Um, if they were from the box or if they were from uh, on on top of the we have a cart you know mm -hmm. and we have several dummies just around some come out of the box some are but they're all out of boxes really like you know but yeah um, might have just been one of the ones on the cart but it should be yeah And that's your car. Nobody else puts anything else on it. Not really. I mean, you know. But it is possible. It is possible. A lot of people have access to your car. Yeah. So, as you're loading it, do you... Corporal, at this point in time, were you aware that there were actually six live rounds on set? No. So, at this point in time, all you knew of was the one that resulted in the injuries, is that correct? That's correct. You do and check every single time? Yeah. Every round? Yeah. And you did it on this time too? I did it. Okay. But that one round, it, you weren't sure if it was fresh out of the box or think, just laying on the cart? Honestly, I don't think, like, if it didn't rattle, I want to help put it in. Okay. And so you heard the rattle? Yeah, I checked all, all six of them for a rattle. Okay.
hate to belabor the point, but she indicated she checked all six of them for a rattle, but one of them didn't have a BB in it, right? That's correct. Um, one of the rounds that Hannah had loaded in that firearm actually had a hole in the side of it to indicate it was a dummy, so it would not have rattled, which is contrary to her statement of if it wouldn't have rattled, I wouldn't have put it in. And the live rounds wouldn't have rattled, rattled correct? No, they won't. All right. We're almost done with this one. I just really, I mean, since I guess sometimes happen, but just that the whole crew quit the table for and then something like this happened. I, I don't know. I totally feel like this was just a fucking really fucked up accident. That's how you feel? Yeah. I wouldn't think that anyone on that phone set is that malicious. I mean, I just have to ask you. Yeah, no, Because so like, it is something. Oh, well, yeah. Okay. What about Sarah? How much do you know about her? How long have you worked with her? She's like the nicest little Christian girl ever. Okay. We're going to have an extractor and an armor. Mm -hmm. so, an extractor? Yeah. For those? Yeah. So I'm going to take... Okay, then. Want to be yeah. real quick? Okay. Totally. Oh, I'll be back in just a minute. And so, just to be clear, the one that you had seen, that you had pulled out, looks like which one? Um, let's see. Like that one. Okay. With the. Yeah, yeah cause that's when I saw it, it was punctured. So. Not, it wasn't the missing it. When I, when I took it out, yeah, it was punctured. So. Unless you have anything else that you think you missed or want to add. I'm going to hold on to these, okay? Actually, I'm going to hold on to them. Okay. Uh, just one more clarification. Um, when you got the gun back handed to you, had someone already opened it too, or you did all the manipulating of it? I did all the manip manipulating. So they just literally just handed you the gun. Handed it to me. And it was still closed. It was still closed. Okay. That's the end of it. Would the court like to take the afternoon break? Yeah. All right. We'll take our afternoon break. Please don't tell coming yourselves or anyone else about the evidence received here in court. Follow the bailiffs. All rise.